This is the story of the Rugby Lions, one of the oldest rugby clubs in the world, and how the club came close to financial ruin. My name is Mal Malik, and I'm the chairman of the Rugby Lions Football Club. We are one of the oldest clubs based in the town of Rugby, which is obviously how we got our name. We are also known as the Rugby Lions, and we used to be in the top 30 clubs in England. So yeah, we've got a wonderful heritage and history. Our biggest issue has been, in the recent years, has been finance, and the money from the telecoms has been a key part of our day-to-day -day running. But in the last two, three years, the rentals for the, for the value of those leases were decreasing quite dramatically because of government legislation and we ended up being relegated all the way down the leagues. The club has been really at the bottom end, treading water, players not getting paid, and so it seemed appropriate and right to look at our situation and see how we could maximise and benefit our club as a consequence. With the rental income now falling, the Rugby Lions approached several specialist companies with a view to selling the lease in return for a lump sum. It made sense for us to uh, look at assigning those leases. It was then a case of who we dealt with and who came through as being the more genuine to deal with uh, and who could deliver. And Telecom IP, through George, uh, were very, very patient and very helpful, consistent throughout. They said that we should do what's right for the club, and that's really where we made the decision to go with Telecom IP. With an offer from Telecom IP now on the table, it became a case of how best to use the money in a way that would secure the long-term future of the club. What they really needed was essentially a kickstart of capital so that, that they could um, invest that into the clubhouse and then use that for functions so it then becomes self-sustaining. The, the club needed lots of money spending on it to, to get back on its feet. So we decided that uh, what we would do really would be really invest in infrastructure. We now have a double the capacity hot water system, renewable energy, which will last us for the next two decades. We've invested in a completely refurbished kitchen, which will hopefully give us a lifeline to develop our hospitality business. And it's down to the club for us to work this building and, and, and make it pay so we could generate income. Having Telecom IP with us has been a, you know, a lifeline. Their support has been tremendous and it's given us an opportunity to rebuild our club and have a future for the Rugby Football Club.